Mike Murphy with Next Foils. Uh, if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about learning how to ride a hydrofoil. Uh, I've already put one out there that you can see. It's the short version. I'm going to give you the longer version of this uh, on, on, on how a hydrofoil works. A hydrofoil works much like an airplane. Water is 700 times denser than air, so we've scaled it down 700 times. Okay. Um, flying rules apply. Water skiing, wakeboarding rules do not apply. For example, when you get up on a, a wakeboard or water ski, you go about 21 miles an hour. On this, you go like 10 miles an hour. Everybody, as soon as they can get up, they want to learn how to fly it. Not a good idea. You want to get up, then you want to learn how to steer it. How you steer it is by aiming your knees. Think of your, your knees as your steering wheel and that strut, the big up and down part, as the rudder. You aim your knees to the left, water pushes you left, aim to the right, it pushes you right. Okay, now, doing a deep water start. This is probably the hardest thing that you'll ever learn how to do while you're hydrofoiling. Reason being is people don't understand the concept or what's happening. I got my little training aid here, my little cardboard airplane. Tony laughed at it, but it's a good airplane. Okay, here's what happens. When an airplane starts, it's sitting on a runway with a negative angle of attack. You got wind pressure pushing down as the plane rolls down the runway, accelerates, accelerates, still has sufficient flying speed, then it gives it a positive angle of attack, done deal, it takes off, you're on the way to wherever you're going. Unfortunately, when you're on a hydrofoil, you've got to float in the water. Horrible angle of attack. The worst angle of attack you could possibly have. Because as soon as you start moving, what's going to happen? It's going to want to go up and fly. But you're not going fast enough. So it starts to stall. It starts to go to the right or left. So your upper body, you lean. It goes the other way. It goes the other way. You're out of control. You crash. So what has to happen, as soon as you you know, hit it or go or whatever. As soon as you're coming up, you got to get a negative angle of attack. How do you do that? You do it by doing three things. A is you get up on the seat. You get about two inches uh, of, of, of clearance in the back of your seat. Uh, you feel it. You make sure you're forward of that seat. Much like a little stern drive boat, you got four people in the back of the boat, nobody in the bow, it won't plane. What do you do? It's obvious you move them to the bow of the boat and it planes. Same thing. This isn't going to want a plane if you got all your weight aft. So you need to move it forward. That's the first thing you do. The second thing you do is you lean forward. It's a very easy thing to do. You lean forward. Let it pull you forward. People have a tendency to want to pull and resist that. No, you got to give way. You've got to let it pull you forward. Third thing is you raise your hands, okay? If I held this like this and I tied a rope on the top and I pulled it, it's going to pull down. If I held it down here, it's going to pull up. So you want to raise your hands up, which is going to pull it down. So you you got your hands up, you're leaning forward, you're up on the seat. Um, if you can do that at the right time, get that, that timing. So as you're coming up, you're going from down to up and lean as far forward as you can, you'll make it. Now, a lot of people, they'll fall a few times, and generally when you fall, you push on your feet. When you push on your feet, you push your rear off the back of the seat. You need to do a butt check every single time you fall. Reach back there and make sure you got that, you got that two inches of seat you're not sitting on. Um, that's going to help. Use a deep V rope or an easy up rope. It's a rope with a big V on it that you can put your ski between the V. That's going to help immensely. Have a good boat driver. Go slow. People do not understand how slow you really go. Um, you're going to be pulling people and they're going to be trying to go faster. Don't do it. Go slow until you can learn how to steer it. Don't be in a rush to fly it. Everybody, as soon as they get up, they want to fly it. No. Learn how to steer it first. It makes it much easier. Good luck.